First, take out of all items from the package. Package includes manual, monitor, solar backup camera, bracket, cigarette lighter, taxi power adapter, power adapter, USB power cord, antenna, other accessories. Align the upper and lower parts of the bracket and snap them in. Pull up the buckle. Install one of the antennas to the camera. You can tear off the protective film on the camera before use. Install the second antenna to the monitor. Align the screw ring with the screw hole on the back of the monitor and screw it in. Insert the ball part of the bracket into the nut and tighten the nut. Tear off the protective film at the bottom. Place it on the dashboard or windshield and pull off the buckle. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted in angle. Now demonstrate how to use a car charger to power the monitor. Connect one end of the car charger to the monitor. Press the power button on the side of the camera. The status light turns on and the camera starts. Plug the car charger adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Press the red button to turn off the monitor. When the monitor is not working, the camera will automatically enter sleep mode and all the indicator lights on the camera will go out. Now demonstrate the second type of power supply by USB power cable. Connect one end of the USB power cable to the monitor. Plug the USB connector of the power cord into the USB socket in the vehicle. Press the button on the USB power cord to turn on the monitor. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Now show how to fix the camera. Fix the camera and the base with screws. Tighten the screws. Tighten the other side in the same way. When you loosen the screw, the camera angle can be flexibly adjusted. After adjusting to the appropriate angle, you can use tools to tighten the screws. There is a Type-C charging interface on the side of the camera. The camera supports solar charging and Type-C power cord charging. Connect one end of the Type-C power cord to the power adapter. Pull up the rubber and plug the other end of the Type-C power cord into the interface. Plug the power adapter into the power outlet. In the power on state, the status light of the camera is red and flashing, indicating that it is charging. Press the N key to enter the menu mode. Press the SEL key to enter the parent countdown. Press the power button three times quickly until the status light flashes rapidly. The image appears on the monitor, indicating that the pairing is successful. There are five keys on the monitor, SEL key, guideline turn on off key, plus key, M key, minus key. 
press the SEL key to switch to the CM2 channel. Press the SEL key again to switch to the split mode. Press the SEL key again to switch to the CM1 channel. Press the guideline key to turn on the guideline. When the H appear on the screen, press the plus and minus key to adjust the height of the guideline. Press the guideline key. When the W appear on the screen, press the plus and minus key to adjust the width of the guideline. Press the guideline key. When the M appear on the screen, press the plus and minus key to move the guideline left or right. Press the guideline key again to turn off the guideline. Press the N key to enter the menu mode. The first icon is for pairing signal. When the product you received has an image, please do not pair the signal. Press the plus and minus key to switch to the picture. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the SEL key again. The icon turns red. Press the plus and minus key to adjust the brightness. Press the SEL key to confirm. You can also adjust the contrast and saturation parameters. Press the M key to return to the previous interface. Press the plus and minus key to switch to the mirror flip. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to select the mode you need. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the plus and minus key to switch to the system. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the SEL key again. The icon turns red. Press the plus and minus keys to select the language you need. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the M key to quit the menu mode. 